Number one is create learning stations. Provide different types of content by setting up learning stations. For example, students can rotate between stations that involve watching a video, creating artwork, and completing puzzles. Number two is use task cards. Like Learning Station, task cards allow you to give students a range of content. Answering task cards can also be a small group activity, adding variety to classes that normally focus on solo or large group learning. Number three, interview students. Asking questions about learning and studying styles can help you pinpoint the kinds of content that will meet your class's needs. Track your results to identify themes and students with uncommon preferences, helping you determine which methods of instruction suit their abilities. Number four, target different senses within lessons. A lesson should resonate with students if it targets visual, tactile, auditory, and kinesthetic senses instead of only one. Not only will these tactics help more students grasp the core concept of lessons, but make class more engaging. Number five, share your own strengths and weaknesses. To familiarize students with the idea of differentiated learning, you may find it beneficial to explain that not everyone builds skills and processes information the same way. Number six, use the think-pair-share strategy. The think-pair-share strategy exposes students to three lesson processing experiences within one activity. As the strategy's name implies, start by asking students to individually think about a given topic or answer a specific question. Next, pair students together to discuss their results and findings. Finally, have each pair share their ideas with the rest of the class and open the floor for further discussion. Number seven, make time for journaling. A journal can be a tool for students to reflect on the lessons you've taught and activities you've run, helping them process new information. Number eight, run literature circles. Organizing students into literature circles not only encourages students to shape and inform each other's understanding of readings, but helps auditory and participatory learners retain more information. Number nine, group students with similar learning styles. Heterogeneous grouping is a common practice, but grouping students based on similar learning style can encourage collaboration through common work and thinking practices. This tactic allows like-minded students to support each other's learning while giving you time to spend with each group. Number 10, assign open-ended projects. Give your students a list of projects to find one that lets them effectively demonstrate their knowledge. Include a clear rubric for each type of project which clearly defines expectations. Number 11, teach up. Teaching at a level that's too easily accessible to each student can harm your differentiated instruction efforts. Teaching up, however, allows you to focus your differentiated teaching strategy and bring each student up to high-end curriculum and expectations. Number 12, use math ed tech that adjusts itself to each student. Some ed tech tools, such as certain educational math video games, can deliver differentiated content while providing unique ways to process it. For example, Prodigy Game adjusts questions to tackle student trouble spots and offers math problems that use words, charts, and pictures, as well as numbers. Number 13, relate math to personal interests and everyday examples. A 2015 study published by the Canadian Centre of Science and Education used contextual learning strategies to teach integers and increase test scores by more than 44%. Number 14, play a math-focused version of tic-tac-toe. Prepare by dividing a sheet into squares, three vertical by three horizontal. Then, fill the boxes with questions that test different abilities. You can hand out sheets to students for solo practice or divide them into pairs and encourage friendly competition. The first one to link three X's or O's by correctly completing questions wins. Number 15, analyze your differentiated instruction strategy on a regular basis. Carol Ann Tomlinson, one of the most reputable topic thought leaders, recommends analyzing your strategy. Frequently reflect on the match between your classroom and the philosophy of teaching and learning you want to practice. Look for matches and mismatches and use both to guide you. Check out our other blog posts for more tips and tricks.